Hi guys, it is a dark and stormy day here in the end times uh, with another flash flood watch on the way. Good God, as the creek rises here on, uh, it is Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. So I have been out in the garden. Uh, good Lord, the garden is going gangbusters. So, uh, just putting this out here for uh, any doomer chicks who might uh, understand what Hambone Little Tail has to bring to their lives. If not my good looks and charm, uh, at least you won't starve or die of thirst. Uh, any little doomer chick who wants to sit next to Hambone. Uh... Anyway, hint, hint, but. Uh... I don't know guys, so much to talk about today, but uh, I just stumbled on this PC, you know, it, I remember Bill Hicks claiming there's not enough, there is not enough uh, positive news about drugs. Well, we finally have uh, right here in the mainstream media today, I was, I was actually thinking of, of doing a very similar rant just a couple of days ago. Uh, and I'm going to let, right here on Yahoo News, I guess their lifestyle. Uh, this is called Something Mommy. Funny Mommy. What the hell is, uh, what the hell is... I cannot read Scary Mommy. This is uh, on the Yahoo Lifestyle desk from some outfit called Scary Mommy. And this was written by Anonymous. And thank you for explaining this to anyone who does not understand why Hambone Little Tail drinks. Okay, as I say, it's unbelievable how close to this rant. Why does Hambone Little Tail drink? Uh, and 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 once one more time, guys. I, I I hate to burst your bubble. I know a lot of you think that I go through about a bottle of tequila a week. What I drink is two shots of tequila pretty much every day of my life. Uh, I do not drink before 6 p.m. I have a drink before dinner. I have one margarita before dinner. One margarita after dinner. I drink two ounces of tequila every day of my life and here is why I do this. I use alcohol to self-medicate my mental illness. Take it away Anonymous. It's 1.03 p.m. and I'm already itching for a drink. I don't consume, this is Anonymous not me, I don't consume alcohol often but today I want to, I need to. The pain is just too great. Why? Because I live with an illness, a mental illness, and sometimes my medication doesn't work. And guys, uh, well, since tequila is my medication, uh, you know, this is from, this is from a woman with uh, bipolar disorder uh, who, who I guess is on some, uh, on some goddamn medication. I assure you, I will never be on any of their, you know, their mind uh, rotting, uh, pineal gland uh, freezing uh, psychotropic drugs. But anyway, there's still enough that's germane to my life here. Okay, sometimes I am anxious and apathetic, hurt and sad, and sometimes I don't know why and I don't know how to cope. So I turn to the bottle to tune out and zone out, to silence the voices and negativity, to numb the pain. Of course, I am not proud of this fact. Well, okay guys, I am not proud of this fact, 
but I am not, I, I have nothing to apologize for. I am not the least bit embarrassed. There is nobody listening to this who has ever seen me drunk. I have not been, the last time I was drunk was 1997. Now there is a point in my life where I, where I was a fucking drunk. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not denying this, that I did not used to stop at two shots. And then, you know, I got into Carlos Castaneda for five years. I, I did not have a drop of alcohol for five years. From 1997 to 2002, I was totally sober. And then in 2002, I started drinking again with the promise to myself, uh, Hambone, just show some fucking self-discipline and stop after two drinks. And so for the past 19 years, uh, I have had the fucking balls and the self-discipline to uh, stop after two drinks. Uh, th this, is, th this is nothing to feel guilty about or anything else. I I'm neither proud of it. Uh, I'm not not proud of it. Y you know, it makes no fucking difference. It's what I do. It is my medication. It is my medication in moderation. But anyway, let's get back to Anonymous. I am a strong woman, one who has endured a lot of shit over the last 35 years. I'm also a wife, an employee, an advocate, and a mom. Being a part-time alcoholic is not in my job description. But the truth is, I am. I use beer and small batch booze as a crutch so I can function and limp along, and I do so because my brain is a shit show. Thank you. My brain is a shit show. There is a war raging in my mind. I also hate myself at least to a certain degree, though most alcoholics do, there is restlessness, uneasiness, unhappiness, and discontent. So, no shit Sherlock, I self-medicate my mental illness to slow things down, to make the shit stop. I think the camera might have stopped. I don't know if I'm talking to myself. Um, I self-medicate my mental illness because when I am drunk, I am numb. Well, I am never drunk, so I'm not numb, but it does slow it down. It, 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 lets, me, it, it, it lets me relax in the evening after, after this shit show building up in my raging fucking brain all day. It gives me a few minutes of peace and quiet. But since I stop at two shots, uh, but anyway, this woman, uh, she keeps going past two shots. I am numb. There is no feeling, there are no thoughts, and I self-medicate my mental illness because I need to be medicated. Bipolar disorder is one hell of a condition, and something needs to give. When my scripts aren't working, something needs to budge, but the real reason why I drink is the voices. The tapes that play on repeat inside my brain because these voices are angry. They are hateful and mad. And these voices tell me I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'll never be enough. Well, uh, mostly what the voices uh, are telling me is we are so fucked. No one loves me. I cannot get a Doomer chick to come join me. No one cares. Of course, these voices tell me other things too. They yell at me when I am silent and for speaking up. They criticize me constantly. I am convinced no one wants to hear about my life, feelings, or otherwise.
This is why I put it out on YouTube because nobody wants to hear this shit coming out of my mouth. So I throw it out on YouTube and get it off my chest. These voices tell me my thoughts are insignificant, no one cares, and they tell me I should kill myself frequently. They are the masterminds behind my great escape plan, and yes, I have one of those too. Actually, uh, I do not have a great escape plan. I've been trying to find some fucking fentanyl. You know, it's like, it's like this goddamn, it's like there's fucking 18 wheelers full of fucking fentanyl rolling around this country. There's fucking cargo ships of fentanyl coming over here from China. Uh, they're, they're, they're bringing burrows across from Mexico. I have no fucking idea how to find one fucking grain of fentanyl. Anyway, but when I do, I guess I will have my escape plan. Suicide flutters through my mind like a mosquito. It is an itch I cannot scratch. A pest I cannot kill. A gnawing thought which perpetually persists because I feel trapped, stuck. I am cycling a victim of addiction and mental illness, trauma, depression, and abuse. Yes. The good news is that I learned early on how to make the shit stop. I had to. It was a means of self-preservation and survival, especially when I was unmedicated. Alcohol masked the symptoms of my mental illness long enough and just enough for me to function. And it turns out I am not alone. And then she interviews some, uh, I'm not going to go in, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Moving forward from that departure. Okay. But I don't just drink when I am depressed. I also drink when I'm happy or manic. I drink when I'm anxious or scared and I drink to drown out the voices to keep the demons at bay. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, you know, that this, uh, you know, then they start talking about why alcohol is a bad thing. Uh, you know, she, she, like, like she, unlike me, uh, is pointing out that this is not good for her. Well, the reason it's not good for you, lady, is because you fucking don't stop after two shots. So anyway, so she, she admits that she has a drinking problem. I don't think I have a drinking problem. I mean, you know, the old joke is the only problem I have drinking is, is, is when the fucking liquor runs out and I have to go back to the liquor store and buy more tequila. That said, I have no plans of stopping. Not now. Not yet. I mean, uh, my relationship with Hooch is hella problematic. Uh... I am drinking for the wrong reasons. I am playing a dangerous game, but alcohol has, in some ways, saved me. It has gotten me through dark days and even darker nights. Without alcohol, the voices would win. I would be dead. And anyway, we're going to stop there. Thank you. Alcohol has, in some ways, saved me. It has gotten me through dark days and even darker nights. Without alcohol, the voices would win. I would be dead. So there you go. Uh, thank you, uh, Miss Anonymous. 
Miss, uh, whatever it was, mom, Scary Mommy. Thank you, Scary Mommy, for explaining why alcohol is a perfectly good way to treat bipolar di disorder, mainly to treat depression, if you simply have the fucking balls to stop after two drinks. But the problem is, you know, so many alcoholics, uh, they can't fucking stop. Uh, and since I have the self-discipline to stop, I'm going to go right on drinking and enjoying uh, my damn two margaritas for the end times every night. It's one of the few pleasures I still have. Uh, you know, it's this little dog. Uh, this delicious organic food and, and, and my fucking uh, liquor. Anyway, if anybody wants to come join me for one or two margaritas for the end times and stop and have some delicious organic food while you're here, come see us at Bugs in a Jar Farm and now I gotta wrap this up and get out there and start fucking sandbagging in the goddamn house and uh, digging a flood control channel across the backyard. Bye, guys. Yes, little dog. Are you ready to go sandbag the house?